what is up guys it's Sobash. welcome back we have confirmation that ruby is being released these are the patch notes for the update for 1.1.54 which is coming out hopefully within the next day now this was released early this morning on the asian server so this is where this is coming from ruby is able to be gotten there she is 599 diamonds or 32,000 battle points but she is 30 percent off for the first week so that means she's going to actually cost about 419 diamonds now they do have a, quite a long backstory on ruby and if you would like to read that i will put it up there so you can read it uh, you just pause the video to go ahead and do that if you like to do so now let's go ahead and look at her skills her passive is called Let's Dance. Now within a short period after releasing a skill, Ruby can leap to another position within three seconds after jumping forwards. All skills can make slowdown effects on enemies if jumping backwards. Ruby's armor and magic resistance will increase in a short period of time. Her basic attacks won't trigger lifesteal effect, but all skills will inherit a percentage of lifesteal effect. Now that is really interesting not only does it have that leap to another position it's got a lifestyle effect on it as well that's pretty good now the first skill is called be good it slashes rapidly dealing physical damage to the front target meanwhile it launches a shock wave forwards dealing damage to enemies it touches so it does physical damage in one way and it still sends out a shock wave so that seems like it could do damage twice possibly uh, the second skill, Do Not Run Wolf King, wields a giant scythe to attack twice and deals physical damage, stunning the enemy and slowly pulling the enemy towards the hero. Deals additional damage to enemies in the outer ring. Now, that is really interesting because I guess the outer ring is going to be if they're further away from you. So if somebody actually tries to run away from you, it's going to be further out. The more damage they're going to do, that's really interesting. The third skill, which is the ultimate, is I'm offended. Now, this uses the scythe in a horizontal conal shape in front of the person. It goes out at an angle kind of a bit. It deals physical damage and hits enemies, pulling them to the hero's position, and it stuns them. That is the ultimate that we have seen. Uh, it's really cool. It's going to be really nice for crowd control. Now, they also did a new free hero rotation this week. So, from this coming up... All right, we're gonna see Maya, Alice, Karina, Raffaella, Fanny, Lita, Natalia, and Chow. So we're gonna to get to try out some new heroes. And of course, Starlight members, you get extras. Ballman, Saber, Nana, Minotaur, Gord, and Sun takes into effect after all of the servers are updated. Now there are new skins for February. Starlight members have a permanent skin for Maya, which is the Thorn Captain. Uh, there's a vent for an exclusive skin for a Chinese traditional festival chow skin called dragon boy uh, that's really interesting i have not seen it yet but uh, we'll go over it once we are have information on it ruby the cat girl skin of course we covered that in one of our previous videos it's uh 269 diamonds so it's fairly cheap for uh, a, a skin immediately as she comes out uh, bruno best dj so we have a new bruno skin 749 diamonds uh, that looks like it's probably going to be another one from the hd tech that they've been doing now new features if game resources for heroes are not fully downloaded the heroes in battle will show as little wisp uh, that's interesting because I I know I, I haven't really seen it with heroes before but I've noticed at times I've seen minions kind of disappear to just be nothing there uh, so that's interesting to see um, adds a new report for function of avatars and the chat content for the home interface uh, they added translation function for the chat content on the home interface and they did some hero adjustments in this update as well so some hero changes that are coming after this comes out Sun Wukong is HP growth will increase from 200 to 220 so Sun Wukong is getting a HP buff Adora Fork Lightning the bonus coefficient increases from 1.2 to 1.6 and the attack range decreases from 6 to 5.7. Now, cooldown is increased by 2 seconds. So, they did increase 
the bonus from it but they decreased the range and increased the cooldown on it so they kind of nerfed it but they buffed it at the same time now thunderstruck the bonus coefficient decreases from two to one so that's a huge nerf there the bonus damage to the main targets increases from 15 percent to 100 percent so that is a huge increase in damage on that cooldown is increased by six seconds and the attack range decreases from six to 5.7 now this is really interesting because it has been known like the last update they did nerf a lot of the fighters ranges so now they are starting to slowly work on the magic range it looks like for gourd the missile favor skill effect increases from five percent to six percent and saber triple sweep attack range decreased from eight to six point eight now that is huge i am so glad to finally see this happen saber has had way too long of a range for way too long so i'm finally glad to see they nerf him on that now the flying sword damage fall off of hitting multiple times is is adjusted from 75 percent down to 70 65 and so on uh, so they did change it a little bit so it scales a bit different uh, for fanny basic flying speed decreased from nine to eight on the steel cable so they slowed fanny down a little bit uh, hopefully that'll make for better plays where people can actually catch her in stuns alpha force swing adds a limitation on hp regen effect five times effect of basic hp regen at most so they just changed alpha recently in the last patch so now when they update it again he is going to be limited on the amount of hp regen effects he can have which will be at five times and rotary impact basic damage decreased by 60 and the skill bonus coefficient decreases from 1.5 to 1.3 so they're still trying to balance alpha out they still do know he is a little bit too powerful now Rafaela, they adjusted the recommended gears for her so nothing really changed for her franco fury shock mana cost is adjusted from 40 for all levels to 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 so it increases now as the levels increase so he is actually going to be using a lot more mana now iron hook it's cooled down at the top level increases by one second so they kind of nerfed iron hook a little bit and made the cooldown one second longer at late game uh hopefully to uh possibly see less pulls out of bases now kagura yin yang overturn with the umbrella it deals magic damage to nearby enemies and slows them down without the umbrella it initiates a link with semi umbrella and refreshes the cooldown of the skill semi umbrella open when the umbrella moves the enemy touched by the link will be injured and slowed down the umbrella will deal magic damage to enemy units that touches it now i don't really know a whole lot about kagura i played her earlier tonight and it's the first time i've ever played her so i've got a lot of learning to do on her uh maya vision shot damage bonus for the additional target decreases from 0.35 to 0.3 so they nerfed maya's fission shot damage bonus just a little bit uh they're trying to balance her out as well because she is really strong as well lolita the protective shield cooldown is increased by two seconds and Ballman, basic hp increases by 60 points basic armor increases by two points and basic regen increases by five points so Ballman just got a huge buff in hp uh, i felt like he has been lacking in that department because he for a fighter he dies really easily uh, bruno optimizes special effects of his display and in battle performance so he has new special effects now that's going to be interesting to see gear adjustments beast killer the increased physical and magical resistance from the unique passive gorg is adjusted from two points to three points raptor machete the increased physical attack from the unique passive gorg is adjusted from four to six points and they did some battleground adjustments the additional chase upon range of heroes decreases from 0.5 to 0.3 now uh so that's really interesting they decreased that as well they adjusted the vision of heroes and minions to match the active every area better so that's going to be interesting to see how much that changes things removes the protection mechanism in the brawl mode which lowers the damage the turrets receive for the first three minutes of the game ah oh, so they're making it pretty much where brawl games can go earlier if uh people push hard 
uh, and they increase the reward golds provided by monsters in the brawl mode. So they're trying to advance brawl mode and making it a lot faster to uh, progress in it, it looks like. Uh, they adjusted the stats of the super minions in brawl mode as well. They adjusted the range of the indicator of some skills to allow it to match the skill effect range better. Uh, they optimized the catch releasing for issues to allow the game to run more smoothly. And they increased the attack range of the resurrected lord. Improves the skill description and makes them more specific. The resurrection cooldown will now show up on the battleground scoreboard. The price for selling gear can now be displayed when tapping the gear in the battle. The time limit on launching the surrender is adjusted from 6 minutes in the matchup and rank mode and in brawl versus AI human mode and is adjusted to 4 minutes and custom mode is adjusted to 1 minute. So if you're just testing stuff that's really going to be useful for us because uh, we're going to be using custom mode to test some things out with the game. Uh, we're really interested in some of the stats and numbers from this game. Uh, nobody has that so we're going to be working on some of that so look forward to uh, some work with some of the actual fans some of the guys that watch our videos uh, we're going to be working with them to bring some statistics for this game it's going to be really awesome uh, they did optimize the visual process for surrender they added sound effects for getting a medal after the game ends and some system adjustments they did changed some things up as well they did add tickets into the rewards for season rewards so now in rank, if you get high enough, you will get tickets according to the highest rank division you get. Uh, you can get up to 1,500 tickets as a reward when the season is over if you get high enough ranked. Uh, they did adjust and improve the tutorial for newer players. They added a display of victory conditions in the game for low-level players. So that's helping out the newcomers. Um, I, I do feel like they needed to explain the game a lot better in basic detail to some people. To know, I mean, to let them know, you know, this is a, an objective-based game and not just let me go kill somebody type game. Uh, they added a director mode in the video replay, and now players can switch between director mode and lock perspective mode. They optimized the mechanism for friend status refreshing, which is really useful because we were having trouble with that streaming the other night. The friends list was refreshing way too fast, and I couldn't get people invited. Uh, now the rest of the time double XP and double BP card can show up in the team room. That's really nice. They optimized the prompt for private messages, optimized the card of Saber skin Golden Warrior and also Wasteland Butcher which is Franco's skin and they optimized the visual effects of the hero display page. Updates the home interface with a new one. The hero picture of the sharing page will now show accordingly to the hero that players choose in battle. They adjusted the feature of one tap upgrade for upgrading emblems, bug fixing. Fixes the bug for number of buff players that cannot show correctly in battle. And that looks like it's it from patch 1.1.54 guys. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the stuff in this video, the patch notes or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, this is really good. I, I like the way they're taking this game. They're updating stuff. They're trying to balance things out, make it a lot more fair to players. And this new hero Ruby is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna grab her up when she comes out and uh, we'll see you guys then. Uh, if you like this video, leave it a like. And as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.